Hi everyone, today we're going to be talking about operations with radical expressions. We're going to be looking at adding and subtracting with them, but also multiplying. So follow along with me. If you don't know how to simplify radicals yet, how to break down, let's say, radical 20, make sure you watch my other video so that you know how to do this before we get started. All right, so here's the rule that's on the screen. It says to add or subtract radicals, you must have the same radicand. When I talk about the square root of seven, the seven is what's called the radicand. You can only add or subtract radicals if they have the same radicand. It's kind of like dealing with combining like terms with regular expressions. You could do two X plus three X and get five X, but you can't do two X plus three Y. They're not like terms. The same thing happens with radicals. You have to have the same radicand in order to actually add them. To multiply radicals, you can have anything you want. Kind of like you can do 2x times 3y and get 6xy. So radicals are going to follow that same um, procedure. So the different operations that we're going to take a look at, we're going to add and subtract like radicands, so ones that are the same. We're going to learn how to add and subtract unlike radicands, and we're going to learn how to multiply with any radicand. It does not matter. All right, so it says here, when the radicands are like, you simply add or subtract the coefficients. So if I have three radical x, you're going to hear me guys say radical x or root x. They mean the same thing. 3 radical x plus 2 radical x, that would mean I have 5 radical x. Just like combining like terms. Same thing with the next one. If I have 3 radical x minus 2 radical x, well, 3 minus 2 is 1, so that would just simply be 1 radical x, which is just radical x. So notice I didn't do any operations with the radicand, the variable that's the value that's under the radical sign, I just took care of the coefficients. So now if I have 6 radical 5 plus 2 radical 5 minus radical 5, I'm really dealing with, again, my coefficients. So 6 plus 2 is 8. 8 minus 1 is 7. So this is 7 radical 5. Notice the radical 5 stays. I didn't change it or touch it. Now this one, 7 radical 2 plus 8 radical 11 minus 4 radical 11 minus six radical two. This is like when you're combining like terms and some of them are X's and some of them are Y's and you have to match up the right ones. Same idea here. So seven radical two goes along with a negative six radical two. So seven minus six is one. So that would just give us radical two. And then I'm gonna look at my radical 11s. Eight radical 11 minus four radical 11 would be 4 radical 11 and a positive one. Now you can write radical 2 plus 4 radical 11. You can also have them in reverse order. 4 radical 11 plus radical 2. Either answer is fine. The last one here, 3 radical 5 minus 8 radical 5 minus 2 radical 7. Now I only have three terms here and two of them have the same radicand. So 3 radical 5 minus 8 radical 5 is negative 5 radical 5 and this negative 2 radical 7 just stays minus 2 radical 7. It has nothing to combine with. The next thing we're to look at is when we have to add or subtract, but the radicands are not like. So here we have 3 radical 18 plus 5 radical 8. And from our last part of our lesson, we just saw that, hey, we can't add these. But something we know how to do is we know how to simplify radicals. Now look at radical 18. You can break apart radical 18. Think about it. What's the biggest perfect square that goes into 18? It's nine. So this really becomes three, and radical 18 breaks up into radical nine, radical two. Remember the process. You find the biggest perfect square that divides into 18, which is nine. You keep that in front. Nine times what is 18? Two. So it breaks up into radical nine, radical two. Plus five, now think about eight. Is there a perfect square that goes into eight? It's four. So radical eight gets broken up into radical four, radical two. Always put the perfect square first, guys. So now let's simplify what we can. This becomes three times, well, we know the square root of nine, it's three, bring down the radical two, plus five times, we know the square root of four, it's two, radical two. I hope you see where this is about to go. Three times three is nine, so I've got nine radical two, plus five times two is 10, so it's 10 radical two, Nine radical two plus 10 radical two is 19 radical two. Pretty good. Let's try the next one. Two radical 20 minus five radical 45. Again, they're unlike radicands, but let's simplify them to see what it brings us. Two, biggest perfect square that goes into 20 is four. 
So it'd be radical four, radical five, minus five times, okay, 45. Biggest perfect square that goes into 45 is nine. So that's radical nine, radical five. This now becomes two times two because the square root of four is two, radical five, minus five times the square root of nine is three, radical five, which then becomes four radical five, minus 15 radical 5, 4 minus 15 is negative 11 radical 5. Pretty good. All right, next two. If you are feeling adventurous and you think you can do these two on your own, there's three terms instead of two, but the process is the same, I would press pause right now and then press play after to see how you did. Otherwise, follow along with me. So 6 radical 27 becomes 6 radical 9 radical 3. Biggest perfect square that goes into 27 is 9 minus eight, 12 breaks up into radical four, radical three, plus two, 75 breaks up into radical 25, radical three. This becomes six times three, radical three, minus eight times two, radical three, plus two times five, radical three. Now, while I'm doing this, I remember a common mistake my, mistake my students would make is they would look at radical nine and they wouldn't just write three, they would write radical three. And remember, the moment you take the square root of a number, it doesn't need the radical anymore. You wouldn't do that. Like when you took the absolute value of a number, you drop the absolute value bars. It's the same idea. So if you're finding that you are writing more radicals down, you don't need them. You only leave in the radical what actually you can't simplify. Like radical three is just radical three. So now this becomes 18 radical three minus 16 radical three plus 10 radical three. Look at all those radical threes. We can add up all of our coefficients. So 18 minus 16 is two. Two plus 10 would give us 12 radical three. Awesome. Next one, three. Now, radical 32 always tricks people. People think to divide by four, but four is not the biggest perfect square. It's actually 16. So radical 16, radical two, plus three. Biggest perfect square that goes into 90 is 9, so radical 9, radical 10, minus 4. Biggest perfect square that goes into 50 is 25, so radical 25, radical 2. This becomes 3 times 4, radical 2, plus 3 times 3, radical 10, minus 4 times 5, radical 2. So now I've got 3 times 4 is 12, radical 2, plus 3 times 3 is 9, radical 10, Minus 4 times 5 is minus 20, radical 2. All I have are my radical 2s that are like. So 12 minus 20 is negative 8, radical 2, plus 9, radical 10. And like I mentioned before, you can reverse the order. You can have it say 9, radical 10, minus 8, radical 2. The last tab for this, multiplying. Sorry, my screen is a little crooked here. Um, we follow all previous rules for multiplying. So we had a previous lesson where we we're talking about how to multiply radicals and what to do after. So here what should kind of scream out to you is that we have the distributive property going on. Okay, radical 6 is going to get multiplied by 3 radical 2 plus 5 radical 15. This here, 2 radical 3 is going to get multiplied by 4 radical 2, and then it's going to get multiplied by a negative 2 radical 6. And you don't need the same radicals to multiply. You just multiply as normal. So 6 uh, radical 6 times 3 radical 2. Okay, radical 6 times 3 radical 2. There's really a 1 in front of the radical 6. So 1 times 3 is 3. Radical 6 times radical 2 is radical... My mouse for this. Radical 6 times radical 2 is radical 12. Now I distribute here. Radical 6 times 5 radical 15. So 1 times 5 is 5. Radical 6 times radical 15 is radical 90. Now we know from our previous part of the lesson, if they're not like radicals, we can't add them, but let's see if we can break them apart. So radical 12 breaks up into radical 4, radical 3. Plus 5, radical 90 breaks up into radical 9, radical 10. This becomes 3 times 2, radical 3. Plus 5 times 3, radical 10 which becomes six radical three plus 15 radical 10. Can't combine them, can't do anything else. Next one, two times four is eight. Radical three times radical two is radical six. Two times negative two is negative four. Radical three times radical six is radical 18. So, so eight radical six just hangs out, but I can break apart my 
radical 18 into radical 9, radical 2, which becomes 4 times 3, radical 2. And that's my answer, 8 radical 6 minus 12 radical 2. Find the area of the rectangle. So area formula we know is length times width. So that would mean I'd have to multiply this expression times this expression. Remember when you're multiplying binomials, which is what this kind of comes out to be, we have to distribute the 5 radical 3 first twice. So 5 radical 3 times 4 radical 6 would be 20 radical 18. 5 radical 3 times negative 2 radical 10 would be negative 10 radical 30. Then we would need to distribute this 7 radical 5. So 7 radical 5 times 4 radical 6. So 7 times 4 is 28. Radical 5 times radical 6 is radical 30. 7 times negative 2 is negative 14. Radical 5 times radical 10 is radical 50. All right. So now 20 radical 18 becomes 20 radical 9 radical 2. We can break that apart. Can't break apart radical 30s, but look, they're both radical 30s, so let's just combine those two together. Negative 10 plus 28 is 18, so it's 18 radical 30 minus 14. Break apart. Let's break apart the 50 into radical 25 radical 2. This then becomes 20 times 3 radical 2 plus 18 radical 30. I'm just going to continue to bring that down. Minus 14 times 5 radical 2. 20 times 3 is 60 radical 2, plus 18 radical 30, minus 70 radical 2. Let's look, we've got radical 2's to combine. 60 minus 70 is negative 10. So this is negative 10 radical 2, plus 18 radical 30 units squared. I hope this video was helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.